today I am going to do quite a big video. Um, I'm going to do a back to school inspiration video. I'm going to show you my sort of everyday look with a little bit of glamour mixed into there because I love me some glamour. I'm also going to show you two little outfits that I put together to maybe give you some inspiration or what you can wear on your first day at school or like your first week or whatever or your school photo. I don't know. I know that a lot of bullying is going around at schools nowadays. Um, and even in my time, I'm 18 years old and I got bullied like crap. I got bullied for everything and still I managed to get friends and enjoy school. I loved school, like I loved um, being with friends and um, joking around with teachers. I hated the homework. I hated it. What I basically want to say is that if people are giving you a hard time, just basically don't give a crap. They're not worth it. Remember that when you're having a hard time, it's all about yourself and staying strong and ignoring the people and you're better than that. You're better than those people and look at us now. I mean, I got bullied. Look what I'm doing now. I'm talking to almost 200,000 subscribers now, so fuck that, bullies. Back on track to the makeup stuff, I'm gonna show you this natural look. If people from my school are gonna see this video, they're gonna laugh because basically the time I started doing videos, um, I was in school still, so I wore smoky eyes, bright eyes, eyeliner. I wore everything to school, so I basically was like a, a, a freak show every day, but I loved it. Anyways, without any further ado, let's go right ahead and go to the video. The first thing you want to do is apply a primer to your eyelids because when you're in school, um, let's say you have gymnastics or is it PE? physical education, I don't know. Let's say you have to move a lot in the morning, like your first hour, um, and you're just rocking your eyeshadow and your, your entire makeup and stuff, and you're like, yeah! And then after PE or gymnastics, you look like you've been murdered. So what I suggest is using a primer on your eyelids to keep your eyeshadows intact, and what I am using is my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. The first color I'm going to take is the Buck from the Naked One palette. And with this I'm going to start defining my crease. I'm now I'm going to take Naked Eyeshadow. With that I'm defining the inside, the inner part of my crease a little bit more. I often get questions about why I go all the way in with my crease. My eyes are slightly hooded, so when I go all the way in, I kind of feel as if I have more of like an almond deep set eye shape. Taking naked only, I am now going to blend the edges of this entire crease shape that we created. Taking buck only, I'm going to run that along my lower lash line and go like halfway in. And then for this outer part, I'm going to make it a round circle shape. So normally, or a lot of people like to go out in sort of like a V, so we're, we're, we're going to make it a C and go round. I feel like that's a little bit more natural and a little bit more young. Switching over to the Naked 2 palette, I'm going to take Chopper and apply that with a damp brush. I adore this color. It is so gorgeous, so glamorous. Ugh, makes you look like a movie star and I just leave the outer third bare because on that outer third I'm reapplying Buck eyeshadow from the Naked One palette. As a brow bone highlight I am going to use Foxy. And for my inner corner highlight, I definitely suggest this because this opens up your eyes like no other. I am going to use Half Baked and Booty Call, and I'm going to mix the two together and apply those with a damp brush as well. I'm quickly going to apply my Ben Nye Neutralizer Cream Crayon to my waterline. I choose this over white because I think white is too stark and too fake and a nude color is much more natural and pretty. I'm not gonna curl my lashes with my Chiwamura eyelash curler and then after that I'm gonna apply a mascara and this is the Makeup Studio Waterproof 3D Extra Black. This is my absolute favorite. My mom sells it in her web shop and it's insanely good. It's 
it holds the curl, it makes it black, makes your lashes longer, volume, love it. For my cheeks, as you know, I can't live without contouring. For my contour, I use my NYX Blush in Taupe. This is my favorite contour color for light skinned people. And then to warm it up a little bit more, I use my Illamasqua Disobey Blush. And then for the actual blush itself, I mix two colors together. This is the NYX Blush in Peach and I mix it together with my MAC Pink Tea Blush and together they make such a nice, like, cute flush. And then of course, you know, I love glowy skin and highlighters and stuff. And for that, I use my Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC in Suburb. For my lips, I'm gonna take a new MAC lipstick. This is Pink Pearl Pop. And it looks really, really bright in, 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 like, Right, it looks really, really bright like that. And if it's too much for you, you can always go ahead and go on top with some lip arrays. Now I also came up with two little outfits that maybe can help you uh, find inspiration for your first outfit or like a couple of outfits for your first week. What usually happened to me was I looked good on the first day and I looked like crap on my school photo. So I came up with two outfits that can maybe give you some inspiration. So let's just go right ahead to my hallway and show you the clothes that I came up with. My white blouse with raccoon print is by ASOS. I am obsessed with this. Underneath, I'm just wearing a simple black tank by Only, and the necklace is by ASOS as well. Because neon pink is one of my most favorite colors, I chose to make my outfit a little bit more fun with my Forever 21 plus size neon pink shorts. The bag is by the oh so awesome shoe mint. Shoe Mint is known for their, duh, shoes, but I don't think a lot of you know they have amazing bags as well. I got this bag called the Carry All Tote, and I think this is perfect for days where you don't have a lot of hours on school. For me, Fridays were the best. I mean, on Fridays, I had like five hours of lessons and then I was done, so I had to take like three books. Schumann is a website where you take a personal quiz and out of that quiz you kind of get a bunch of like shoes and bags and stuff that fits your style the best. And that way Schumann kind of knows what kind of style you have. So that's pretty neat. Remember Rachel Bielsen from The OC? She and Steve Madden, yes, the Steve Madden, they kind of work together on all of these shoes and voila, you get perfection. Anyway, go check Schumann out. They have some really, really cool stuff. This Carrie Alto bag by Schumann retails for $79.98. My boots are by Sasha, and I love these. Now, between you and I, these were from the men's section. I don't care, I love them. Black studded boots, pure heaven. My second and last outfit was kind of on the basic side, but we all have our basic days, right? The white blouse is by Nutström, and I probably butchered that. I think it's Swedish or Norwegian, I don't know, Nutström. And the shorts and necklace are by ASOS. Now these shoes, let's talk about the shoes. These are the Unif Hellraisers and I cannot even talk about it. It's like, oh my god, crap. I love, love, love these. I'm like, I'm obsessed with them. Like, oh, 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 well, Max appeared. Hi. These shoes are like my personal hedgehogs from hell. I love them. The left is called salt and the right is called pepper. Let me know in the comments if you want a video on these shoes because I'm obsessed with them and I could talk about them for like 30 minutes straight. The purse is by Forever 21, again for the lighter days where you don't have to carry a lot of books. And that is basically it for outfit number two. So yeah guys, that were the outfits and the makeup and all the things I came up with. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I could help. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used and what I'm wearing, go to my website, NikkiTutorials.com. I have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and that all is Nikki Tutorials. So if you want, you can follow me there. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And, um, I want to know what was your worst school moment and what was your best and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!